My name is Liv von Fries and I come from Norway, but I live in Denmark. I'm a singer and a composer and band leader. But I have a, a Danish band consisting of Jens Mikkel Madsen on the bass and Alex Jonsson on the guitar. And we form the band as a trio. But then we also play with a drummer on our coming album, Running Heart, or four people. And on the next album, we are eight people with the string quartets. And we play Play My Songs, which is uh, indie jazz, mixed some genres, and it's not only jazz, but also we stole some uh, things from classical music and from uh, the pop music. Nordic new jazz indie-ish. Uh, it's a, in Norway there's a man called Arne Skumsvoll and he's made a lot of great string arrangements for, for the Norwegian Symphony Orchestra. But, and I got to sing with this symphony orchestra in, in Norway. And uh, I really just love the arrangements and this was my inspiration to get string arrangements for my own songs. And I made an album in 2011 in, in Tromsø, in North Norway, with, a, with my trio. And it was the first, first album I ever made. It's a jazz album, but it's also mixed with, with other genres, like electronic elements and pop and rock elements. And um, yeah, it got nominated for the Danish Music Awards. I also got this prize, the, the Young Jazz Composer of the Year in Denmark last year for one of the songs. When I write songs, it's, uh, it's kind of different every time. I kind of I get an emotion and maybe I'm just walking and I have to use my iPhone and, and record. Or I'll sit by the piano and just write some songs. Or I see a movie and I get inspired. And uh, it's, I don't know, but I, I almost write songs all the time. It's like, and I, I love, love writing songs. But mostly it's, it's on my own. And I see a sign or something inspire me and it's melody and the lyrics and it's like, okay, well. The last thing that inspired me was I, I came on the, the airport in Oslo and it was a big sign saying get lost and then I had this get lost mm -hmm. and there's a melody coming but it's not a finished tune yet but it's an ID but I also put my IDs like I store them and if they come back it's good if I forget them it's not so good I'm an educated as a singer and I had in the education it's you have some arrangements and some composition lessons but it's not my main education. Lately my, my inspiration now is like Gretchen Palato which is making this, this really really cool arrangements where it's not for but it's like in different bars and a lot of energy in the band and, I, and this low or this uh, soft voice on top which I think is really really cool because you have this stretching thing <laughs> and, uh, and I'm also very inspired by different Swedish singers it's a lot of good Swedish not so well known singers. One of them is the Wild Birds and Peace Drums, which is, yeah, very cool band. I, I really, really love to listen to Chet Baker and Sarah Vaughan, Billie Holiday, Ella Fitzgerald. And then, but it's very different from what, from the music I, I write myself, but. But it makes me really happy. We'd rather wait
think I've, I write songs like in reaction on things happening. So if I get really mad, I can go to the piano like, or if I get sad, it's like how to go through something. You write a song and you explain and you're like, ah, oh, it's like this and then it makes sense and then you have a distance to it afterwards. And the happy tunes can be, I can be on a bar and I'm like, oh, this is really fun and then just have to go outside and like, do 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 and then have a happy song. I'm going to Africa on a tour in November with a Norwegian jazz quintet, going to Angola. And then we will play more uh, jazzy compositions and some jazz standards also. And uh, I will go to New York and LA this summer uh, on a tour and also make a record in System 2 Studios with uh, Thomas Morgan on the bass and Nikolai Hess on the piano. And I will go to South America in January on a tour with, with this band, the, the Leave of One Fleece group. Uh, and we will play with a symphony orchestra in Buenos Aires and play concerts around in Brazil, Argentina and in Uruguay for some jazz festivals and venues and maybe also we go to Cuba to play a few shows. And then we will play also a lot in you know, Scandinavia and Europe. Currently I'm writing a lot of new materials and uh, I will also make a new album with my my own band but also like then it's not only four strings but I think it's 20 and it will be some big band musicians also so it will be kind of a jazz orchestra and we will make an album in March or record like a live album in a concert in March 2015.